So when we're talking about freedom, we don't even have the freedom of thought anymore. And when we're talking about privacy, we can't even crawl into our own heads because they've got that too. Now, what about location? What about the idea of, because I've, I've talked about a lot with the internet of things, technology, it's always able to watch track trace. And we've talked about smart devices and we've talked about like the ring doorbell and the Roombas and your cell phone and, and things like that. But what if, what if there's something more to this that we don't even understand that keeps track of us? Let's try sonar AI. Check this out. But let's keep going, right? To really get the sense of the combinatorics of this. How about, can we go from Wi-Fi radio signals, you know, sort of like the Wi-Fi routers in your house, they're bouncing off radio signals that work sort of like sonar. Can you go from that to where human beings are to images? So what they did is they had, um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it. Um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the... Uh, Wi-Fi router, and they just learned to predict, like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera, so all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room, and this is what they're able to reconstruct. Real-time 3D pose estimation, right? So suddenly, AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. Yeah, so using only a radio frequency sonar off of a wireless router, everybody's got one for their internet, they've got a wireless router, using the radio frequencies bouncing off the room and the objects in the room, it was able to determine and create a real time 3D outline of where every single person was in the room. So utilizing radio frequency sonar, it's able to track where you are in your house right now. So I've got a wireless router sitting over here. Using the radio frequencies, it can determine that I'm sitting right here in real time. People want to talk about how this is complete sci-fi movie type stuff. Because you look at some of the pr predictive programming that's out there. One of the big ones that utilizes this exact same stuff is Eagle Eye, where it's able to use radio frequencies to determine where uh, the people are in the room. But it's also able to record um, uh, the, the, the reverberations, vibrations off of like a steel cup when somebody's talking and register what that person is saying by doing that. We are seeing that come to life now. That is an actual thing that we are seeing come to life. And, and this is, again, more stuff that people think this is just something from a, a movie, from a book, from a comic book, from a, a video game, from a TV show. Something. No, we're living in it. That's all predictive programming to tell us that this is all false stuff. But in actuality, this is what AI is doing. 